Jesus. Ah, yes, Lord, as we sing this song, I have some few minutes to sit down. Then Pastor Sam can take over. Yes, Lord. Somebody, I want us to sing this song from the depth of our heart. Somebody sing it. We have a place to go. We want to redeem the times. Lord, we are gathered here. Not because of any man. We pray. Oh God, that you will use us as never before. Hey, somebody pray wherever you find yourself. If you know how to sing it or not, open your mouth and pray. Hey, Somebody pray. Somebody we will redeem the times. Yes, secretary. Red Satire. Rapaya. Red Tele. Somebody pray. We shall redeem the times. Yes, Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah. My last prayer point, listen. I think I'll be in the best position to say what I'm saying, hallelujah. We can record it. I've been thinking about it. When you look at the ministers that have been preaching and leading us to pray, almost all of them, they are not in Ghana, hallelujah. I want to make this point. What God is doing with these people and what they have, if they are praying, then some of us, we can tell ourselves that we are choking. I'm talking about myself. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. What God is doing with them, how God has blessed them, if they are telling us and has come to Ghana that we should not do any other thing. They were not here to talk about the, se the seven steps to invest your money, seven steps to be a billionaire. Hallelujah. They are not here to do forex or binary. Hallelujah. They came all the way from these countries to come and tell you and me to pray. Then please, we need to pray. Hallelujah. We want to pray the Father, may there be hunger and passion among the youth. Hallelujah. People are looking for places they can find pleasure. Hallelujah. When we said it was prayer, people are not around. Hallelujah. If it was going to be jams, hallelujah, they will be around. Can we pray as they sing the song, the Father, may them be passing and hunger among the youth of Ghana. Hallelujah. You see this point. Hallelujah. You see University of Ghana. Lord, we want to see a change. We want to see transformation. Formation. Somebody open your mouth and pray. Shadanai, Kanaba, Shadai, Ekatakatai, Panadabanaba, Atua, Ekatakata, Elohim. Somebody pray. May there be hunger. May there be a trust. Lord, have your way. Yes, Lord. May there be hunger and thirst of God. May there be passion erupted among the youth of God. In the name of Jesus, we want to see this happening across the world. In the name of Jesus, Shalatada.
for the last night because the last night always has to do with impartation, the anointing. It has a lot to do with that. And if you were a bit at 70% on the first day, maybe 80 on the second day, I suggest to you tonight, you want to be 100% in. Because I believe something very heavy is going to take place tonight. And we all have to be in the position to receive tonight. I'm going to read this scripture and then we're going to pray off of this scripture and get ourselves ready for tonight. Thank you guys so much. I don't want to make you guys stand for so long. But I'm going to read the scripture and we're going to really get into a time of prayer. And when we're going to pray, I, I just want us to really make it personal. I want you to, to mean business. It's the last night. It's the last night. I want you to mean business. I want you to pray with all your heart. And see, when Jesus was on the verge of going to do his assignment, it got to a point that he began to pray, and the Bible would tell us that, that even his, his sweat looked like blood. If Jesus could pray that much just to receive something, to be able to finish his assignment, how much more are you and I? It's Jesus, it's the Jesus we're talking about. He decided, I'm going to pray because I need something to be able to fulfill my assignment. John 16 says this. I'm just preparing the way for us to be able to receive tonight. John 16, 13. If I have that on the screen, that would be amazing. John 16, 13. It says this in John 16, 13. It says, actually, I'll read from, from 11, uh, from 12. It says, I have yet many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now. I'll stop there. Jesus was talking to his disciples and letting them know there's so much I'm about to do, but ye cannot be them now. What does that mean? That means that they didn't have enough capacity to receive what was about to come. And the Bible lets us know the next verse after that when the Holy Spirit comes, then the Holy Spirit will reveal it to them. But in order for them to really receive the Holy Spirit, we know about it as the upper room. When they were praying there, man of God, what they were doing is that they were going there to increase their capacity. For what God is about to do tonight, you need enough capacity to receive. Ask your neighbor, do you have enough capacity for tonight? 
So when we begin to pray, our prayer point is simple. I'm here to prepare the way because I've, I've been in so many anointing services and I can come and just watch when they lay hands on people. It's cool and all to watch. But when you have an assignment upon your life, when there was a whole university looking for that young man, looking for that young woman, when it was a family looking for that young man and that young woman that would deliver them, then, then you need to understand that I need to pray to increase my capacity to receive tonight. Tonight and for the next few minutes, we're going to pray and say, God, increase my capacity. It's a lot that's going to take place tonight. You can, the, 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 the weaver can be flowing. If you come with a cup, you would leave with a cup full of water. That's no problem. But I, my question is, how long would that cup last you? Uh, how long would it last you? I want you to pray right now and say, Lord, increase my capacity to be able to receive tonight. To be able to receive tonight. The disciples were in the upper room and they were praying to, to, to receive receive something unusual I, I, I don't know about you I don't know if you're ready I don't know if you're still waiting for a prayer point but I, 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 I thought you would be praying already and telling God increase my capacity for me to be able to receive from you tonight I, I, I clear up space I clear up space in my spirit I, clear, I make room I make room in my spirit to be able to receive tonight to be able to receive the resources I need for my assignment the resources I need for the revival that was coming to Accra the resources I need for my assignment come on can I lift up your voice this is a personal prayer Lord, increase my capacity in the realms of the spirit so I can be able to receive, so I can be able to receive the impartation for the revival, for the revival that is coming to the young people. Oh my God, I pray, oh Lord, that you will increase my capacity to be able to receive from you tonight. La pacha la basa la baba la pada la basa la baba baya la paka pala basa la pada la basa basa pala baya pa I make room I make room I make room pato sabadi la basa sabato la bo e pado la basa la pada ya la basa ba la pada de la basa la pada la basa la pada le basa pia to la basa pa to la basa pa pa kadia la basa ba pa kadia la ba 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 basa pa la badia la basa ba la ba pa le pere be sa ba la ba ba ya pa la pada de la basa la pada de la basa bi ya pa la pia la basa ba la ba ba la kata la basa ra ba 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 basa kata la basa la subia la ba ya pa la sa kata la pa la kata la basa la pa de la basa la pa de la basa la basa la pa de la basa and the bible was say when the job was done the anointing stop the anointing stop when there was no more Jars. The anointing stopped. The anointing stopped. But God will make it room. Fala tuapa la subi elapata. Kate pato. Kate 
Ai paliapa, pekani ala basopa, la kuala matala baso, ya kuala mara baso, le pala pa, le pala paliapa, pato paliapa, la subi ala pa, Jesus, 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 la pata la baka, pala pa dele be kala baso, oh pala ta, pato liapa, la pata ta, ya pato la baso, la pati ala ba. Le pato lo bosa, le pate le bosa, paka palara tia, para de la basso para, Jesus, a pati a la basso, paka para la basso, le pale le bosa. Sapa la basa, le pakata, palia basso para, para basso para ba, we make room, we increase, we increase our capacity to receive katola bosa. Come on, pray in this room. Come on, pray, God. Somebody yell at us. Come on, pray, cry out, cry out, cry out. There is still a people, God. There is still a people. There is still a people in our cry. There is still a people at Lake God. That are crying out and say, Lord, Lord, we make room for the impartation. We make room for the resources. La Syria, La Syria, control. Oh, 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 oh. Ya bala la bossa, katele la bossa, le tuni, le tuni. Come on, pray, God. 
Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. You need this. You need this. Because there are generations that are going to drink from your well. If they say revival is coming to this city and God is going to use you, what are you going to give them? Would you give them an old oil or a new one? Work at Tomasiah. What is inside of you? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Pasola Basaya. Antolo Say, Lord, increase my capacity to be able to receive tonight. All that you have in store for us. All that you have in store. Oh God. Oh, yes. for this opportunity tonight to come to you today to be able to receive, oh God. Father, we say that tonight we're ready for your move. We say move how you want to, flow how you want to. Do whatever you want to do in this room, God. We are ready tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. And the saints will say aloud. And the saints will say aloud, amen. 
Come on, let's give it up for the worship team. That's my bad. I want you to turn to your neighbor and say hello to your neighbor real quick. Say hello to your neighbor. Tell them welcome for coming tonight. Tell them welcome for coming tonight. It's good to see you. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for coming out to the final night of Wayne Young People Pray. If you were blessed by day one, I want you to shout in the space. Give Jesus a praise in this house for day one. Is that how you're shouting for Jesus? It seems like you're shouting for your friend. Is that how you're celebrating God? Is that how you're celebrating Jesus? Come on, celebrate him even more. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Jesus, we love you. Come on, come on, come on. Jesus, we love you. I was getting ready to move, but but I feel that, that what God is getting ready to do in this place is so serious. Because God is getting ready to do something extraordinary. This city would never be the same. The men of God, they agreed to move pad into the next generation. The people that are going to take over. But you need to have a lot to be able to give out. I want us to push in prayer again. Because I felt like some people thought that this is some kind of performance. This is business. We, 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 we've done so much stuff in Canada, but I am still desperate for more for God. I still need more. I'm here in Ghana, but I still need more. I'm hungry for more. How many people are hungry for more in this room? I want you to leave your seat this time. Don't let your seat be what is going to limit you from taking what God has. So leave your seat. Lose. Free, free around. Free around. Let's take it serious. Leave your seat. You can move around. It's okay. You can move around. It's okay. And just begin to pray. Begin to pray in the spirit. That let tonight be an upper room experience. Let tonight be an upper room experience. That's the prayer point. Let tonight be an upper room experience. Let tonight be an upper room experience. Let tonight be an upper room experience. Come on. Before the worship team comes, let tonight be an upper room experience. If you're still praying and your mind is calculating things, you haven't started praying. You haven't started praying in the spirit. You have to get to the point of prayer where nobody on your left matters. You have to get to the point of prayer where nothing matters. Your inner, see your inner a realm by yourself. Your inner realm by yourself where your mind is not calculating. What is about to happen next? Come on, begin to pray. The apostles were in the upper room. They were in the upper room. And the Bible said when they came to one accord, when all of them were together, when all of them were together and had the same mindset that they're going to chase after God, then they began to pray. Come on, begin to pray. I want to hear your voice, God. Come on, begin to pray in this room. Come on, begin to pray. God, I lift up your voice and pray. We want an upper room experience. 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 Come on. Come on, begin to pray. You don't sound like you want one. You don't sound like it, Ghana. You don't sound like it. 
you don't sound like it. Don't get comfortable with what you received in day two. I'm not moving until you sound like it. Until heaven hears your voice. We're not moving to the next thing. We're not doing, we don't do church as a matter of fact. We don't do church. We don't do church. We do what the Holy Ghost wants. So come on, begin to pray in this room. Let it sound like heaven upon this earth right now. For the next two minutes, come on. Come on, Ghana. We want an upper room experience tonight. We want an upper room experience tonight. Come on. Come on. Come on, two more minutes. We want an upper room experience. Even though it's just five people that are serious about this thing. Lord, visit them. Come and bro in this place. Sapatolomo. Pakiela Messiah. Come on. We want an upper room experience. We want an upper room experience. Sabadala Messiah. Katol Paladiela Pato Pasodiela Baba 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 One more minute in this room Come on cry out Daniel Cry out Hey Pasatala Baso Hey Padilia Baso Hey Padilia Baso Hey Padala Baso A Padala Baso A Padala Baso A Padala Baso we want an upper room experience tonight. We want an upper room experience tonight. A breakout of your spirit. A breakout of your spirit. A breakout of your spirit. Sapatolobosa. Ten more seconds. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Father, as we draw next to you and draw near to you in a time of worship. Father, may you draw near us, unto us, Jesus, tonight. Move how you want to move. Flow how you want to flow. We want an upper room experience. We desire an encounter. We are hungry for an encounter tonight. Have your way in Jesus' name. And with a loud shout, can we welcome the great man of God, Minister Joel Meadow. Can we give it up for him? Somebody celebrate Jesus better in this place tonight. Oh, is that all you can do tonight? Come on, come on, come on. Celebrate the Lord in this place. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, come on, lift your voice, raise your voice. Oh, are there youths in this house or something else? Hey! Come on, shout to the Lord. Can we, can, we, can we just raise that prayer one more time before we start anything in Acts chapter 2? In Acts chapter 2 from the verse 1. Listen. Tonight, I want you to tell somebody standing or sitting next to you that I mean business tonight. If there's anything that God had for you throughout this week that you've not received, you can't leave tonight without receiving it. You see, many times we come into the house of God and I get it. Sometimes there are so many distractions and you realize a prophet one time was about to just speak to um, someone in the service and then all of a sudden he moved away from the person. 
after the service was over, he said, when I was, a, he said, I saw an angel ministering to you. But when I was about to minister to you based on what the angel was saying, I realized that you were distracted. So you were not even paying attention to what the angel was doing. So the angel moved. And many times it's happened that not that there was no word from God for us, but the fact that we were not even paying attention. Tonight, if you came without an expectation, in just 30 seconds, I want you to just go back into your spirit right now. If there was no expectation in your heart, I want you to have one right now. Because we're not leaving this place the same. Listen, you could have been doing anything else, but you chose to be here tonight. Tonight, if there's no expectation, I want you to have one. And if you came with an expectation too, I want you to echo that right now in the name of Jesus. That tonight you are not leaving without that expectation being met. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, somebody. Come on, one minute before we start worshiping. Open your mouth. Come on, somebody. Lift your voice. 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 Oh, that we will experience you. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the sun, your name is to be hallowed. From the rising of to the setting of the Savior. Oh God, your name is to be hallowed. We call it it tonight. Ah, hey, hey. From the rising of to the setting of the Savior. Your name is to be hallowed. Oh, ah. Somebody call him Adonai. Say, ah. Oh, we call it you, Adonai. Oh, 
Father, we're calling on you tonight, oh, for your fire. May your people never be the same again after tonight, oh, for your fire. Yeah. Oh, for your fire. <laughs>
to believe there's power. One more time. There is power.
Words are not enough to say thank you. Oh, I cannot express it enough. Oh, oh Lord, you are your mind. For people, words are not enough, not enough to, to say, say thank you. you. Say, Lord, you are my Lord. Lord. Come on, let your words on it. Everybody say, I call you John. Just lift up your hands and begin to just worship God. Come on. Worship Him. Worship Him. Father, we want to lift up your holy name tonight. Father, we want to lift up your holy name tonight. Father, we want to lift up your holy name tonight. We lift up. Ghana, come on, lift up your hands. Lift up your voice tonight. It should not be difficult to worship because that's what we've been doing. Come on, just lift up your voice and worship him. Come on, I feel God in the house tonight. Something is going to happen tonight. Leba zon tele me kovala baha. Sule me kosada bran tele mo koseya. Ela ba zon tele bro kosada bra hata. Ele mo hota ni kapanda le mo shada baha. Ela bran tele mo kosede me kapai. Can you just lift up my mic a little bit? Ba zule me kotai. Zini me kopali an tele me kopa. Raba zon tele me vadua. Leba konda la basata, iba sun tele boko sania, rebo san tele boko sada baha, leba tolo boko sandi libi kapa, iba sanda la ba, 
In the name of Jesus. If you can just give me 1 Corinthians 14. Let's read the verse number 14 to 15. I want us to just pray. I want us all of us to be on a certain level tonight before we take off. Is that okay? How many of you are ready to pray tonight? How many of you are ready to experience God in a deeper altitude tonight? Let me tell you something. God's expressions of yesterday are things of the past. No matter how a man encounters God, there is still depths and realms of God that man would is ever yet to encounter. So what you experienced yesterday, let me even put it this way. What you even experienced at service this morning is not the full depth of God. One of the things that you need to be able to work with God is a technology in the spirit. It is called hunger. Say hunger. Come and talk to me. Say hunger. You see, food means nothing to a satisfied man. Water means nothing to a man who is not thirsty. Water is only relevant for a man who is thirsty Food is only relevant for a man who is hungry. That is what the Bible says. Blessed are they that hunger and thirst, for they shall be filled. Tonight, the depth at which God will fill you tonight is depending on the depth of your hunger. Who is here tonight and say, I want more of God tonight? Come on, talk to me. You are so quiet. You are so quiet. Who wants to say, God, I want more of you tonight? God is willing to release a certain depth for men that are hungry for more. Let's read this. Paul is writing to the church of Corinth. I want us to pray before we take off. And Paul says that, for if I pray in an unknown tongue, my spirit prays, but my understanding is unfruitful. Paul over here is talking about a challenge in prayer. Between the spirit of a man and his soul. At this point in time, I'm expecting that you understand that you are spirit. Say, I am a spirit. Come on, talk to me. You are too quiet. Say, I am a spirit. Where I'm coming from in London, we are loud. Say, I am a spirit. Say, I possess a soul. And I live in a body. Who are you? What do you possess? And what do you reside? Now watch this. Paul is saying, anytime you hear the word understanding, the Bible is speaking about the faculty of your soul. When the Bible says that, do not be conformed, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. He's talking about your soul. If you go to the root where that word mind is soul. Now, Paul is saying that you can come into a realm where your spirit is praying. But your soul, your understanding is unfruitful. We could be here and be doing Shabalaba Katolebe and we'll be thinking of the skull between us now and Tottenham Hotspur. We are speaking in tongue, but the soul is disconnected. Prayer does not become potent until your soul and your spirit is speaking the same language. And one of the things I sense in the spirit today is that there are people that have, you know, soul and spirit that's not aligned. And one of the things that prayer would do is that it will bring these together. Come on, shout a big amen. amen. I thought you would clap your hands unto Jesus. Now watch what he says that. If I pray in an unknown tongue, my spirit can be praying, but my understanding, that is why you can be speaking in tongues and thinking about a boyfriend. You can be speaking in tongues and thinking about your hostel fee. You can be speaking in tongues, but there's a certain realm where in as much as you don't understand your tongues, there is a certain level of understanding because your soul has caught the language of the spirit. So he says that if I pray in a mountain, my spirit prays, but my understanding is unfruitful. 15, he said, what then is the conclusion? Go to the next verse. 
He says, what then is the conclusion? He said, I will pray with the spirit and I will pray with the understanding also. Now watch this. It's not just limited to prayer. He said, I will sing with the spirit and I will sing with understanding. You can be here and be singing, God is great. You can be singing, how can I express my gratitude? But your mind is saying, God, you disappointed me. You are speaking a language in the spirit that is foreign to your soul. And this is what we are going to do in the next five minutes. Before we lift up a word, we lift up a song, we want to get to a place where we travel beyond Legon. I want us to find ourselves in a place called the spirit. It's a location. Tell somebody it is a location. The book of Revelation, the chapter number one, John is physically on the island of Patmos. He says that, but I was in the spirit. You can be in Legon and be at Tema because your body is here, your mind is at home. In the same way, you can be in Legon and be in Zion. You can be standing here physically. Look, look, I, I showed somebody. I was there one day in, in my church in London. Watch this. We finished church. I came out of my office. And as I came out of my office, this is my son for you. I came with him. He would tell you. I saw that at the gates of our church, there were three girls standing at the gate. They had teleported outside of their body. They were chanting at the gates. They were witches. They said they were sent to destroy the church. We stood there. We honked. We poured water on them. They did not travel back into their body until we prayed and they said, why have you brought us back? Their physical body stood at the gates of London. Their spirit was somewhere in the dark world. Tonight, I want your body and your spirit, your soul and your spirit to be aligned. I don't want you to be distracted. I want you to be in a position where whatever God is downloading to you tonight, your antennas would be able to receive it. Are you here at all tonight? You are too quiet here in Ghana. Lift up your two hands. Kazalimi ipatus. Say Holy Spirit. Say, Holy Spirit, tonight, as I pray, let my spirit and my soul be aligned. Let my spirit and my soul be caught up in the same realm. Say, Father, tonight, bring me to a place where there is no distraction, where my spirit and my soul is aligned. Clap your hands and lift up your voice and pray. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Can you play something aggressive for me? Come on, somebody. Hey! Some get a mic. Give some a mic for me. I want some. Get a mic. Some. Lepatania. You are not praying. Le patana me katana mahaya. Ila makotaya. Inta ne makosaya. Katuriye. Ila masoya. Enta ne apa. Ila masoya. Re makotaya. I masotaya. I palama. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody, stand on your feet, clap your hands, stamp your feet, pray, pray, somebody. Ipalopatana, Ipatalikopania, Ipelamokopa, Ipalasata, Ete 
Ala Brakopa, Antaliapa, Epalokopo, Indabrakata, Antanabosataya, Antanabotaya. Father, we pray for alignment. 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 In Baraka Sai, in Tanabakopa, in Tanabahaya, in Tolabakopa, Ayapala, in Pelabakopa, in Palayaka, in Palabo, in Tanaba, in Palia, in Palo, in Tanabi, in Palabo Sai, in Tapaya, in Lamaso, in Palaba, in Palabo, in Palia, Palaba Sai, in Palia, in Potoya, in Pelabakapa, in Pana. Apollo, 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 Let there be a light Epala da 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 Epaluba sai 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 Epalobosa, Epaleva Copa, Epalia, Epalo, Etana, Epaya, Etanabasa, Epalava Copa, Epalava, Epalobosa, Eprecapa, Prau, 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 in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want us to pray again. Give me Matthew 17. There are some things that must return to Ghana. Azavo, some things must return to Ghana. When some of us left some many years back, it was a different ball game. There are some things that must return. And like I said yesterday, I'm trusting God for just 12 people. The Bible says that after six days, Jesus took Peter, James, and John his brother and brought them up into a high mountain. The new King James Version says all by themselves. Give me new King James Version. It means there is a certain journey you can have a leader but you must climb by yourself. <laughs> now watch what happens. The verse number 2. The Bible says this. Go with me to the verse number 2. Seven two. The verse number 2. The Bible says and he was transfigured. That is what the new King James Version says. Said, and he was transfigured in front of them. Watch this. Watch this. You can be around an experience and not have an experience. <laughs> you can be around an experience and not have an experience. The man who was at the pool of Bethsaida was around an experience that brings healing. Yet, she remained sick. Now watch this. The Bible does not talk about Peter, James, and John being transfigured. They saw Jesus metamorphosed. But they remained the same. Even though they all climbed the same mountain. Psalm 24 says that who would ascend the hill of God? Tonight is an ascension. Tell somebody tonight. Tonight.
tell somebody tonight it is an ascension now watch this the Bible says that and he was transfigured before them the Bible says and his face shined like the sun also, in the book of Malachi the Bible calls Jesus the Bible says and the sun of righteousness would arise over you with healing in his wings that means that Jesus one of his nature was to be like the sun he's the son of righteousness but the disciples did not see this dimension of Jesus until the guy was transfigured what it means is that there are certain things that are your nature you may be called into the apostolic the prophetic the evangelical you may be called into the healing ministry just because you are called does not mean it will be your normal Malachi called him the son of righteousness, but he only shined when he climbed and prayed. Not just that, the Bible says, and his raiment, his garment became white as light. He's the light of the world. The light was his nature, but they did not see that nature revealed until he prayed. Listen, tonight we have traveled to come and birth out a generation who would embrace their nature. Listen, listen, I'm tired of the saying God is raising an army. Tonight, that army must shine forth. Oh, oh, talk to me. I said, when I was five, I heard God is rising. God is rising. God is rising. God is rising. But tonight in Legon, the people must be raised. To pray again, and this is the last prayer and we kick off. How many of you are ready for a transfiguration tonight? <laughs> what it means is this you would walk out here different from the way you climbed out here. I refuse for people to have experiences which I would see that myself would not have that experience. No. No, no, no. I refuse to be like Peter, James, and John. Tonight, I want to be transfigured in this location. I want that prophetic word in me, that, that thing within my belly, to break forth like the brightness of the dawn. Lift up your hand. I'm feeling God here already. I'm, I'm feeling, if God does not help me, I'm, I, I can't preach. It may just turn into something else. Lift up your hand. Kazali Bahatus. Valomo Kondele Kavada. Zumvali Ipa. Zuni. Say Holy Spirit. Oh, Jesus. Atolo. Azavo. Creation is awaiting not the sons. They are waiting the manifestation. It means that if your nature is not transfigured, the current you is not what they are looking for. <laughs> when Jesus was transfigured, they saw a dimension of him like the sun, like light. Creation is not waiting for this version of you. You see, there is a 1.2, 1.5. There's an upgrade of you that carries so much of the power of God that your generation is looking for. Creation is not looking for the broke you. Creation is looking for you, that one that has a lot to solve the financial issues of the world. Creation is awaiting that manifestation. Lift up your hand. We are going to pray. This is going to be your prayer. Listen. I want you to be aggressive with this prayer. Let me tell you about something about prayer. Your posture matters. <laughs> yeah. Your posture matters. 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 Can you play something hard? What you are playing for is like, it's a bit soft. Play something hard for me. Lift up your hand. Do name a copa. Say Holy Ghost. Tonight. Let me hear you say Holy Ghost. 
listen, I want to hear you. Say, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. I am one man. There are more than 100 of you here. Say, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Tonight, as I lift up my voice and I begin to pray, let me be transfigured. Let me be transfigured. Let me be transfigured. Come on, clap your hands and lift up your voice and pray. Yeah, yeah. 
Lift up your hand. Azabo, I don't know how we'll preach tonight. Alebo <laughs> Kadi. Come and speak in tongues. Come. Speak in tongues. Speak until there is a metamorphosis. <laughs> Speak until. I feel it. I feel we are getting to a breaking point. There's a breaking point where the water burst and the woman can give birth. Come on, summer. Come on, summer. the intensity you are young come on Paul said to Timothy stir up the gifts house. Tonight, 
tonight something will fall in this house
Lift up your hands, everybody. As I for breaking down a little bit. Apostle Govi, do you know what I'm seeing? Like Isaiah, I see angels holding something. It's like, you know that thing they used to take ice cube from glass? I don't know what the English name is. But there's this thing we used to take ice cubes. I see angels taking something like ice cubes, but it is fire. And they are literally dropping it on people. And I'm asking God, what is it? He said, I am igniting them for the end time assignment. Look at that. Look at that. Bring her. Bring her right now. Send out your fire. Send out your fire. Send out your fire. Lift up your hands. Send out your fire. Send out your fire. Send out your fire. Send out, send out, send out your fire. Send out your fire. Send out your fire. I know you send out your fire. 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 Fire of the Holy. 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 Send out your fire. Send out the fire. Send out your fire. Send out your fire. Sending on certain people, right? Jesus. <laughs> Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Tonight is impartation night. Tonight is impartation night. Holy Spirit, by the count of three, we release your angels. Ignite them now. One, two, three. Look at that. Look at that. Bring them to me. Bring them. There's somebody at the back. Bring her. Oh. Sadine Mokosaya. Lift them at the altar. Angels are working on them. Help me, Holy Ghost. Send out your fire. Send out your fire. Send out your fire. Send out your fire.
Everybody lift up your hands. I'm lifting the last prayer topic. We see what God will do. My spirit is divided. There's a word in my spirit. God wants me to release. But there's a dimension of my spirit man that wants people to travail for certain things to break through. So I'm still having a discourse in my spirit man to see what God would want us to do. But for now, we carry on on the path of prayer. Lift up your hands. This is the prayer I want you to pray. Listen to me. This is your prayer. You're telling the Holy Spirit Place something on me my generation needs. The Lord said to me that solutions don't market themselves. I said, the Lord, what do you mean? Bishop, he said, have you ever seen a hospital advertising before? Have you ever seen an advertisement in the newspaper that Kolebu is saying people should come? I said, Lord, no, he said, when you become a solution, because men have need of you, they will look for you. So you are going to pray. Let something Ghana needs. Let something Africa needs. Let something the world needs be deposited in me. And watch this. As we lift up this prayer, there are some of you, something will just enter you like you are pregnant. The Holy Ghost will take, oh my God. I see pregnant people. Lift up your hand. Say Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. As I pray. As I pray. Let something my generation needs. Let something my generation needs. Be deposited in me. Deposited in now. now. In the name of Jesus. Name of now Jesus. lift up your voice and pray.
Jesus. Every hand left. There are still people I see the Holy Ghost. There is somebody, the person will begin to shake because what God is placing on the person is too heavy. Holy Ghost, just bring that person. One, two, three. It's heavy. Bring her, bring her, bring her. I see it. I see it. Bring her. It's heavy for her. Bring her. Carry her. Bring her. It's heavy for her. It's heavy. on two people right now in the space of the next 30 seconds there is oil dropping on two people one two take it bring them bring them it's the oil bring her bring her Bring her. Bring them here. Angels are working on them. Hold somebody's hand. One person and begin to pray right now. There is going to be a transfer. Transfer. There is God. Pray, there's going to be a transfer. There is. Come on, pray, there's going to be a transfer. I hear transfer. I hear transfer. I hear there are some people holding hands. All of them will fall under the power. All of them will fall under the power. I just look out for them. They are praying. The power will fall on them. I see people going home drunk. I see men, women drunk. Bring them at the back. I see people praying at the power of God. I said, I will be put on the bill of the pump pump. A fenty tempent on the tap on the tetan. The tail of Madame Sonte. Something is happening at the back. Oh, Papa, the people at the back. Something is falling there. Oh, 
Every eye closed. I saw angels walking through. Everybody close your eyes. After this, I'm handing over the mic. Everybody close your eyes. Close your eyes. I mean it. Except you and Asha. Close your eyes. I saw angels literally just walking through. There are about four people that God is literally going to pour oil on them. There are four. One, two, three, four. Literally, literally, I saw it. Literally, literally, I saw it. There's an apostolic call on you. It's on all of you. It's on, it's on you guys. It's on you guys. Bring them, bring them. Bring them to me. Kofi and prophet. Holy Ghost has messed up the service. Lift up your hands. Somebody is literally going to speak in tongues right now. I saw angels just touching the person's tongues. Holy Spirit. Touch it. Touch it. Bring the person. Bring them. Bring them. I saw the Holy Spirit literally touching tongues. <laughs> Carry them and bring them here. She's going to speak in new tongues. It's going to change right now. This is not to say you don't speak in tongues, but you are going to speak in a different... Oh my God. New tongues. New tongues. New tongues. There are about two more. Holy Ghost, bring them out. One. Two. Bring them out, Holy Ghost. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. 
Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring her here, bring her here, bring her here, bring her here, bring her here. They are, they are setting her tongues on fire. Yeah. That's a new tongue right there. Everybody silent in the presence of God. Play that progression. You are here. You are here. Raise your hands in the presence of God. Gently. Come on, he's here. He's here. He's here. <laughs> he's here. He's here. He's about to deposit something on somebody now. I see oil coming on someone's hands now. He's here. He's here. He's here. Sofo Joe, could you lift it for me? He's here. Miss. Just raise your hands. He's here. He's touching people. He's touching people. <laughs> Lift it up, everybody. <laughs> oh, it's all over this place. He's here.
Spirit of the living God. Would you raise your hands? Fall afresh. Put your hands on yourself one more time. You want to speak it. Spirit of the living God, say, Spirit. and daughters shall prophesy they will see visions and old men will dream dreams just every hand lifted in the atmosphere here I just hear the Lord say that he's placing a prophetic anointing upon certain people in this room right now the Lord says from this land there will be an uprising of the pure prophetic office once again. There's a prophetic oil that's falling in this room right now. I see about seven prophets who are going to be raised from this meeting here tonight. Father, let that oil locate those seven people right now in the name of Jesus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's one of them. I said seven. That's two. I said there's seven people. Palo, three. There's seven people right now. Four. Palo Boko, bring them four. There's seven people. My God. That prophetic anointing, Jesus. Palo Bosa, Talaba. Yes. It's coming upon him. Look at that. It's coming. It's a prophetic anointing. Shelebo Talaba. Seven people. Bring her. There's seven people. Seven people. There's seven people. S receive it. <laughs> receive it. Palobo Santalaba. Pandelebo Kosha. Santalaba. My sister, receive that fresh anointing. It's that prophetic grace that's all over you. Listen, there's nothing to watch here. There's nothing to watch. There's an anointing. The Lord says he's raising seven people. And I see women prophets rise up from this land. I see women prophets, prophetesses, 
rise up from this land. I see, I see women prophets rise from this land. You will prophesy. You will hear the voice of the Lord. Oh, Jesus. I hear the Lord say that from different parts of this country, apostolic and prophetic voices will rise once again. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Father, I thank you for your spirit. <laughs> I thank you, Lord. Oh, Jesus. Just, if you could, just, if you could, just. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Lord just spoke to me right now. And I heard the Lord say that I'm coming through and I'm coming to heal my people. I saw the angel of the Lord signal me and said, I'm here to heal my people. If you could, uh, we've been around the world and the Lord has given us an anointing to heal the sick, those, of, those, those people who have illnesses, infirmities. I wish you could for the next few moments, please place your hand where that sickness is, where that illness is. You might be in pain. If you could, please. I want to pray for those. I just saw the Lord tell me, put your hand where that illness is, where that pain is right now. Put your hand where that pain is. Every eye closed, please. You are the Lord that healeth thee. I am the Lord. Every eye closed. Just put your hand where the pain is. I send my way and I healed your disease. I am the Lord, your healer. Father, in the name of Jesus, put your hand where the pain is. Father, in the name of I Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Father, I ask you right now. Lord, heal and touch your people. Father, I lift up your people before you. And I command every infirmity in their body to be healed right now. I speak to every bone, every, every blood issue. I speak to every pain in their muscles, in their bodies. I speak to every link. I speak to every single part of their body, Father God. Every nerve, every eye issue. Father, every back pain, Lord God. Every pain in their body. I speak to it right now. And I command you, body, to be healed in the name of Jesus. I command you right now command your body to function as it should. Pain, I command you right now to go from whatever it is to a zero. I command every pain leave or reduce in the name of Jesus. Lord, I speak to every pain in the neck. The left side of the neck. I speak to every pain in the neck. I speak to every eye issue. I speak to every pain, God. And I command, let there be healing right now. The name of Jesus. Now, saints, I want you quickly, I just want you to do something 
Test where that pain used to be. Test your body. Check your body to see if that pain is there or if it's reduced. I just want you to test your body. Just keep doing it. Just test your body. Check your body. See if the pain has left, if it's reduced. I want you to continue to check your body. The Lord says he's healing his people here tonight. Check your body. Do what you couldn't do. Do what you could not do. Do what you couldn't do. Do what you couldn't do. Do what you couldn't do. Some of you, you'll notice right now, as you're checking your body, the pain has completely vanished. Some of you, as you're checking your body, you'll notice that you can do things that you couldn't do before. Some of you, you're, 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 you're feeling something move on the inside of you. Some of you, you're feeling some heat go through you. It's the Lord that's working on you right now. Now, I want to see right now, if you could, I want to see if there's anybody, you noticed a difference in your body. I just want to see by a, a raise of hands, if you've noticed any change in your body. My sister, can you please come? Can you please come? Is there anybody like that? You notice a change in your body. Come, please come. Oh, is this how you're clapping your hands? Come on. I am the Lord. I'm your Come, 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 come. Mm. Emma, talk to me. What happened? What did you feel go through your body? I want you out there. Continue to check your body. Test your body. You'll see that something has taken place. The Lord is able to do anything. Emma, tell us what happened, what was going on before, what happened now. Tell us. Uh, good evening, church. Uh, so for the last few weeks, my eye has been twitching like spasms, and it's, it's uncontrollable, so I can't show you now. I can't do it right now. It just, it's been happening. I, I go to bed, it twitches. I wake up, it twitches. Just randomly in the middle of the day, my eye is twitching. I haven't told anyone. Papa, I haven't even told you because it's just like, what is going on? I was just hoping that it will go away. But it, for weeks, 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 it's been there. Even up till two days ago, it was there. But I was hoping and praying that I would receive my healing this weekend. And I'm just standing here. I, have, I haven't twitched all day today. Let me just say that. And it's just, I haven't had days where, I wouldn't, where my eye wouldn't twitch. So I'm just standing here and testifying and receiving my healing and saying to you guys that I am healed and I believe it. And if you guys will stand with me, that this twitching will go away. And I'm healed in the name of Jesus and I'm not going to twitch anymore. And I felt that right now when you called out eye problems. Just raise your hands. Can someone please stand behind them? Father, I thank you. Church, stretch your hands here and begin to pray in the spirit. Come on, Father, I thank you, Lord Jesus, for... 100% healing right now. From the crown of your head right now. It's like a warm liquid fire. Yes, it's like a warm liquid fire. <laughs> there is a sweet 100% healing right no now in your eye in the name of man. Jesus. Saints, can we, believe, can we bless the Lord for what he's doing in this room right now? Is there anybody else who's coming? You notice a change in your body. Come to the front. I want us to testify of the goodness of God. You felt a change in your body. Who's coming? Would you clap your hands to Jesus? Come on. No, no. Clap your hands to Jesus right now. Because the Lord is moving in this place. Can I get another microphone, please? Sister, you notice a change in your body? Please talk to us what happened. Is, can we get a mic? Is, is this microphone working? Sister, please, what happened? What did you feel happened? So while we were praying, I felt pain in my stomach. And I had been feeling random pains in my stomach, like, at any time of the day. So while we said we should place our hand there, I placed my hand on my stomach. And I began, I began to pray, speaking the language of the spirit. And I felt the pain go completely, and I felt some heat passing through my palms, and I just started tearing up. So I want to thank God that the pain is gone forever. Oh, is this, is this how you're... Gana, listen, if this is how you're thanking God, we're not coming back. Yeah. Somebody put your hands together because the Lord is in this place. Listen, my sister, so you're telling me that before the prayer, you were feeling pain in your body, but all of a sudden, after the Lord touched you, you don't feel any pain any longer. Lift your hands up to heaven, and I want us to pray. Sam, where are you? Please come and help me. Hold the microphone for these people. Lift your hands. Church, stretch your hands. Your Father, I thank you, Lord, for 
Bring her back, bring her back, bring her back. Kadosha. Father, I thank you for 100% healing in her body. From the crown of her head to the sole of her feet, I curse that stomach pain and may it never return. In the name of Jesus, amen. Bless you. What happened? What did you feel in your body? Who's coming? Yes, brother, what happened to you, please? What, what did you feel? What happened to you, brother? Um, so, for, the, for more than seven years, um, I've been feeling the same as hers. I've been feeling pains around my stomach. For more than seven years? Yeah. And um, as we were praying, I was still feeling the pains. And it comes, it's on and off. So, as we were praying, it just went. And when I press it in any way, I feel some pains. But, like, as you said, she test, I was testing it. And uh, right now, like, there's no pain. Right? You don't feel no pain in your body. <laughs> For seven years, wait, wait. For seven years, you had this issue with, with your stomach. More than seven years. More than seven years. And in just a moment, the Lord can touch you. And take that pain away from you completely. Saints, we're serving a miracle working God who's not dead but is alive and he's breathing in this place. Father, we bless you. Listen, Father, I thank you right now, sir. Would you raise your hands to heaven? Lord, I thank you right now for this healing, Lord. Father, I curse that stomach pain and may that pain never return ever again. Father, I thank you for healing. I thank you for what you're doing in his life. And Father, I thank you because he's been made whole today. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. May God bless you. Who's coming? My sister, please. What did the Lord do for you? Okay. So, um, ever since I got to Ghana, I've been having these chest pains. So, I never really told anyone about it. Wow. I just thought it was random and it would, like, come and go. And then when you said we should place our hands, I just placed my hands, and then I was checking, I realized I don't feel it. But normally, as soon as I touch my chest, I would feel that pain, you know? But the pain is no longer anymore. Oh, Father, we bless you. Father, we bless you. Father, we bless you. Father, we just thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, Holy Spirit, you're welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, you're welcome in this place. Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit, just raise your hands. Thou welcome in this place. Can you pick up the key? Go to the different key. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Just raise your hands. Thou welcome in this place. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Thou art welcome in this place, omnipotent Father of mercy and grace. Thou art welcome in this place. Some of you, the Lord is still moving. Keep testing your body. The Lord is still moving. I hear that there's some miracles. The Lord says, I'm still touching my people. I want you to test your body. Sister, what did the Lord do for you? What did you feel in your body? I, I, I'm, still, I'm still testing because I, I can't believe this happening. You, you're so still I, testing because, he, because you can't believe I, the I, miracle. I, I, I know, not because I can't believe, but I, it's just so crazy. Talk to From us. From last, somewhere last year, before my birthday in October, I had this ear issue. I've been to the doctors like twice to check it. And every time my ear hurts so bad, I can't sleep, I can't do anything. Even before I was coming, I wanted to remind my sister to find my ear drops or something because I can't even put my hand in my ear. The moment I put my hand there, it hurt. So the whole time, I, when you said we should touch my ear, and then I put, I pinched my hand in my ear, and I'm still not feeling the pain. I'm like, go on. Oh, Jesus. Hey. Oh, Jesus. Come on, give God a big hand clap, somebody. Omnipotent Father. Hallelujah. Of mercy. Hallelujah. Say thou art. Jesus. You, you don't get it. Like, you don't get it. See, 
I mean, this year issue has been a very big problem. How long have you had this issue for, my sister? From last year, so that's before October, from that time till now. And it's just on and off and on and off. When I was coming, I just couldn't put my... I'm see, I'm pinching my hand in my head. You don't understand. You don't get it. We serve a miracle working, God. Sister, lift your hands. Let me pray for you. Only you can do what no man can do. Everybody say, only you can do what no man can what do. No man can do. Only you can say. Are you glad to be in the house of God tonight? Are you glad to be in the house of God tonight? Listen, things that have been in people's lives for years are being healed in an instant. Is there anybody else who's coming? You want to give God glory because he's touched you. Is there anybody else like that? You want to bless the Lord because he's touched you. Oh, Jesus, we bless your holy name. We bless you. We thank you. Listen, I want you to know that some people, as you even leave here, the Lord is going to continue to heal you and touch you even as you leave this sanctuary. And so be ready for what God is about to do in your life. I believe that the, that the power of God is not limited to this place, but God will definitely meet you on your way. And so may God bless you. Please, I believe that we're about to get into a time of worship. Yes, let's be on your feet, everyone. If you can, before we go into offering, would you kindly just come to the front as many people that can? Just keep that same group, that's fine. Mr. Joe, would you just come quickly, just here if you don't mind. Chad, just come. As many that can come to the front. Oh, come as close as you can to the altar. Come as close as you can to the altar. Come as close as you can. Mr. Joe, we're going to pray a, a prayer over, it's an anointing service, so we're going to pray a prayer over everybody before we take our offering. But I heard a strong instruction. I heard the Lord said, praise him because the heavens have opened. I saw the heaven open over a new generation of Ghana. I'm telling you, there is a new day. And this is a symbol, this is a tithe, this is a remnant. Someone shout Remnant. This, no, no, shout aloud. Say remnant. remnant. You can do better. Say remnant. remnant. This is a remnant of believers that are going to carry this fire. I'm telling you, out of this meeting, there are next Benson Idahosas coming out of here. There are next Archbishop. The way you're clapping is so suspect. I said there are next mighty men of God, mighty women of God coming out of this meeting. I want us for the next about five to ten minutes to praise God aggressively because of what he's done this weekend. You, des you listen, God deserves your praise. Do you agree? Yeah. Minister Joe, please take us. <laughs> Somebody give the Lord a shout. Oh, come on. Make a joyful noise. Let me hear you scream. Hallelujah. So who has the final say? Come on, Robbie, come on. Everybody clap. Come on, come on. I tried it, I tried it. Who has the final say? Everybody. Jehovah turned my life around. Everybody say you turn. He makes a way. He makes a way. Jehovah turned my life around. Oh, the bones he done done. He turned. Everybody. He makes a way. Look to him. 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 Hallelujah! 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 H
say, children of the Lord, your response has to be loud. Are you ready? Why, children? Listen. I say, children of the Lord, children of Jehovah, children of El Shaddai, children of Elohim, children of Yahweh, children of Yahweh, sing hallelujah, dance out. Can we show you how to dance hallelujah? Are you ready for this one? Are you ready? I say who? Say God, not the me. Oh, energy, energy, energy. Tell your neighbor, energy. Somebody make some noise. Listen, I say who? Say God, not the me. Who? Say God, not the joke. Listen to this one. I am a soldier in the army of the Lord. I am a soldier in the army of the Lord. I am a soldier in the army of the Lord. I am a soldier in the army of the Lord. I am a soldier in the army of the Lord. You are in the army of the Lord. Army of the Lord. You are in the army of the Lord. Cast your burdens onto. Can we sing it together? Cast your burdens. Are you ready? Somebody. Listen. Shut 
Come and see what the Lord has done for me. I don't know. I don't know. I Mama, see John Joseph. Everybody says, Sing it because of who?
If you're excited to be in the presence of the Lord tonight, tonight was an awesome night. Give Jesus the praise that he's due. How many believe that we should do this next year again? Listen, next year we'll do it at a bigger place and in years to come, it will be at the sports stadium. Where the young people pray. Listen, I want us to pray over you before we give our offering and go. Uh, my brother, Pastor Nee, is here. I wanted to come. Well, let's appreciate the man of God. I love you, sir. I love this man of God. One of my first friends in Accra. Push it! Push it! Push it! Push it! They sweep up, they sweep up, they sweep up, they sweep up, Shabaya Baya 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 Father, we thank you for such a time. We thank you, Lord, for your presence. And we thank you for Win 2023 in Ghana. Lord, we pray that this revival we have experienced will not be a one-time thing, but a daily affair, oh God. Let us carry this fire and this wind to our communities, to our schools, to our workplaces. Father, thank you for such a release of fire to reign in this year. Thank you, Lord, that the young people in Ghana will speak like never before. We will receive your mandate and your hand to do new things. Lord, your word declares in Joel 2, 28, for in the last days you will pour out your spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Thank you, Lord, that after tonight, we will prophesy in all boldness and that nothing will stop us as we go cover us, protect us, and may we not forget you. We bless you in Jesus' name. Put your hands together. Celebrate God. Come on, give it up for the man of God. As he's released, so shall it be. You're leaving this place, going to different communities, empowered by the power of the Holy Ghost. So, Father, as the prayer has gone, let it be established. When young people pray live in Ghana, let the oil they've experienced be an oil that stays. Let this anointing raise people, raise evangelists, raise prophets. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. 
amen and amen. God bless you. Please get your offering. Come and place something on the altar and we, we, we leave this place, okay? Come and place something on the altar tonight. Thank you so much. You can kindly go there to the side. We're going to show something on the screen. I want to take this opportunity to thank all of our volunteers, team that have worked so tirelessly and effortlessly. Can you please appreciate our, ama our amazing team that has worked so, 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 so hard. Our protocol team, can you please take our ministers to the back room and so that they can relax a little bit. Please take them. Rita, guys, Prisca, please, you guys go to the back. Please bring your offering, come to the front. Let's come play, give me something, please. Yes, you can place it inside with a deep expectation of what God has done. Don't leave, come and sow your seed and come and tap into this grace. If you need an envelope, raise your hands. The ushers will help you. Our details are here. This is for Europe. This is for PayPal, North America, short code, Ghanaian Networks, Momo. Everything is there. It's easy for you. Come and place it on the altar. Come and place it right here in this basket. God bless you as you partner with the Lord, the mighty prophetess of God. Oh, it's good to see you. Remnant Relay Gathering. Are you guys in the building? Listen, this man of God, Pastor Ralph, is a man that I'm still trying to figure out. Seriously. The man canceled his service and said his service is this service. Listen, if you're not a kingdom-minded person, you would never do such a thing. Also for God bless you. Remnant Relay Gathering, God bless you. It's your time of lifting. It's your time of elevation. This revival that has started, you will be the partakers and the carriers of this revival. Remnant Relay, may this fire stay on you now and always. May you go to different places. Remnant Relay in Takrade. Remnant Relay in Kumase. Remnant Relay in Tema. Remnant Relay in Ho. Remnant Relay in Tamale. In Lagos, in South Africa, in London, in Canada, in America. Take this oil. Let this power come upon this ministry. The fire from this weekend. May you be the carriers of this fire. And let this anointing never cease in Jesus' name. The oil is on you and nobody can take it from you. Listen, stick with this man of God. He's genuine. He's genuine. Genuine. He's a Moses of this era. And he's about to lead you to a different place. Flowing with milk and honey. This is our pastor Ralph Moses Sapon. God bless you, Remnant, Remnant Relay Gather. We love you. We love you. Please be coming. Place your offering here in the bowl. Please come and place it. Please be coming. We're so excited as you're bringing your offering. Those that are on the screen as well do the same. We're so excited. This is the end of our world tour of Europe and Africa. This was our first program in Africa, period, we've ever done. And we trust that we'll be back. But now we are bringing this revival back home. And so if you have it ready, we are announcing our next series of tour if you have it on the screen please put it up if it's ready is the north american tour theme the awakening when young people pray atlanta georgia dallas texas toronto ontario columbus ohio newark new jersey and dc dmv were coming this year mark the dates when they're out this tour is not ending it's beginning a new run is the awakening we're going to awaken the dead bones in north america and fill it with the fire of the holy ghost and i believe you'll be blessed let's be on our feet as we share the benediction and we go i'm gonna ask prophet ralph to share the benediction and thank our team just please raise your hands father we just want to bless you for 
how good you've been to us this entire weekend from Friday night all the way until now. Father, we just thank you for who you are. God, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your power. We thank you, God, because the limit is broken. Lord, we thank you, God, because the limit is broken. Father, we thank you for the anointing oil. Father, we thank you for what you've done. And so, Father, tonight we give you the glory and the praise. And would all the people and the saints in this house lift their voice and shout aloud, Amen. Before you leave, please don't run. If you could help me appreciate our amazing team. If you are part of the team, can you please come to the front? Those of you who are part of this team, if you are an usher, if you evangelized, if you were part of the photographer's team, the band, anybody, could you please come to the front? We just want to thank you and appreciate you. Come on, could you clap your hands together? Put your hands together for... Don't they just look beautiful in their tops? You look beautiful. You look beautiful. Well, on behalf of myself and Pastor Kofi, we want to thank every single one of you. Thank you so, so, so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for everything that you've done, for everything, the setup, helping in the sanctuary. May God bless you. May God bless you. May God bless you. I think you're encouraging us to come back again. And so, I, th I think we will. I think we will. I think we will. I think we will. And so, may God bless you. We're excited. We want to see you at One Young People Pray North American Tour as well. Listen, anybody who's expecting their papers to travel, I prophesy in the name of Jesus, may God grant you your request. Oh, your amen is weak in the house. I said, may God grant you your request. Father, may these people travel. How they've served, how they've been a blessing. Lord, may you grant them their request. I said, Father, may they travel to Europe. Father, may they travel to North America. May they travel to Asia. May they travel to all over the world, carrying the fire of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let it be done so. The last thing we want to do, saints, please, one second. The last thing we want to do is if we can get everybody to come to the front we do this one thing that we do at every single tour stop that we go to. We always say, when young people pray, and then the city that we've gone to. And so can we just do that really quickly for our social media and for everything? If you could please come to the front. Photographers, videographers, everybody come. We want to capture this, and uh, we want to get this recorded. We also want to thank Moses, the production team, the band who played and have been amazing. We want to thank Eric, who's not with us right now. He's gone to Canada, but we thank him for what he's done. Daniel, uh, Yamwa, everybody, thank you so much. Everybody, thank you so, so, so much. Is the, is the videographer, are they coming or where are they? Where's the videography team? We want to capture this. Please come. We can capture from the stage, please. Yes, let's capture from the stage, please. Yes. We want to do a selfie, and Tiffany will capture it as well, okay? And so on the count of three, we're going to say, when young people pray, Accra. All right? Listen, listen, if the energy is not there, we're going to do it multiple times until it's there. This is the final time we're doing it. You can cut the stream as well. This is the final time we're doing it on this tour. And so let's give everything. Can we come in a bit closer? Can we come in a bit closer? Can we come in a bit closer? We want to say when young people pray Accra on three. All right? Are you ready? Are you ready? One, two, three. Woo! 
Come on. Accra, we love you. May God bless you. We'll see you. We want to do one picture as well, if we could. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. We want to do one last picture. I'm sorry. Everybody, please forgive me. We want to do one last picture here. Photographers, are we ready? The people have some banku and some washer to eat and some things. And so please, some jollof rice. Hey! Also, you didn't capture it. You captured it. So we should do it one more time. For, for pictures. Yeah, pictures. Okay. So everybody, please, the biggest smile you possibly could give. All right. And so on the count of three, you know, we're gonna say one of people pray a crowd one more time. One, two, three. When All righty. Okay, we're done. May God bless you. We love you. We'll see you next year. We're coming back. We'll see you next year. <laughs>